and I washed her, and y'all just watched me blow dry her. Now, I'm got my iron, I'm gonna flat iron her on 400. Can y'all see that 400? It's like the on and off switch. I don't know, but I have this little dial in the middle, it's on 400. So, when you go to the beauty supply store, do not let these beauty supply store employees talk you into getting no wig, you know, without you seeing what the quality of bundles look like. I'm just going to be honest with you because I feel like a lot of them have certain um, companies that maybe they getting good deals with or whatever. And so, ooh, they are told to push certain brands you know shake and go at the time might have been one of them brands right now i don't really be seeing a lot of shake and go in the beauty supply store anymore i be seeing other brands but if you notice that you know they're trying to push a certain brand nine times out of ten maybe they have a good deal or a vendor partnership with that company and that's why they're pushing it it's not because it's the great greatest quality before i started ordering hair off amazon your girl used to buy all her hair, her wigs, right out the beauty supply store. And I noticed that, huh, I noticed the pattern with them choosing certain types of hair. And honestly, like, even when I flat ironed this last time, I was like, usually when you flat iron some hair, the way it come out when it's human hair is completely different than the way that this hair came out. I'm almost like, should I even keep flat ironing this? Maybe I should just let it. I just let it be like an L dryer. Okay. Cause when I um did a blow dryer, the blow dryer actually got this pretty straight. But this hair, like this hair, is not gonna get. I don't feel like this hair is gonna get bone straight and be looking like it's just on par. But you know, we shall see. These flyaways is a is a parent, honey. You can see them. All right, now I'm getting to the parts in the back of the wig. I'm gonna divide the bottom of the wig in half and just put the hair to the bottom. Oh, I'm dropping my pins. My little assistant is gonna give them for me. Thank you. Thank you, Josiah. A candy. Don't drop your candy now. No, I accidentally gave something. Okay, now I'm gonna put my clip here it actually is looking a lot better after washing it like i was ready to toss this thing and now after i washed it and blow dried it, it looks really good so now i'm gonna pull this like more back right about here there yeah so y'all can kind of see what i'm doing all right move my oop, i dropped my pan so now I'm gonna move this here and just kind of and really all I'm doing is just straightening this unit out and then moving my way around the wig. I like to press my wigs out off of my hair. And the reason why is because it's easier for me to get the back how I want it to look. Um, I find that when I press out wigs on my head, it's harder and it takes longer. I start getting hot. I be messing it up. It's just, I like to just flat iron it on a head of its own. I am looking for a actual wig styrofoam head. 
because it will make for an easier experience with maneuvering and stuff like this. Because y'all know. Y'all, know. Y'all, if you wear wigs, you know it's difficult to freaking, you know, get the help to cooperate and stuff like that on the styrofoam head. The styrofoam head do not be trying to cooperate with the shenanigans. So, you know. There's some hair on the bottom. So I'm trying to get it on the bottom and the top. And for the most part, the rest of the unit is gonna have to like air dry. So. Ah. Like I am trying to do the chase method, but it's not always gonna work. I've worked out in this wig. I've worn her to, to work. I've done a couple things with this unit. And I'm gonna put this on my head to show y'all what she look like at the end too. I'm gonna be like, all right, do she look good? Do she look bad? What y'all think? and I just try to press her out as best I can and when I get done pressing I see what she looked like on my hair and I go over whatever pieces with the flat iron that I feel like I didn't do a good job with I personally prefer straight textures and body wave because I know how to maintain that type of hair um, I also think it's a good idea if you like like to do your hair kinky but you don't want to manipulate your hair too much to find a wig that has like a kinky texture. That wrong with it. But with the kinky textures, you have to find it from the right company. That's the biggest thing I can say about textures. Like some companies, they'll say, oh yeah, this is human hair and it's kinky texture. And then you get it and it's like they done put some Kinecolon blend in there and it's like a freaking nightmare literally a freaking nightmare and a headache to keep up with because the hair is not working with any of your products and it just looks bad like it looks horrible like that's the like that's the nicest way i can say it. it does not look good when you try to style it because the hair is not human i'm like they're supposed to be 400 but it ain't really doing that and i'm like they're supposed to be 400 they're supposed to get it good only thing I say with using um the styrofoam is to be careful with the heat because styrofoam can melt. It can melt. That's my hair in the front of my wig, so I'm just trying to make sure that that's pressed nicely. You know, like a silky type look. And like now that I'm getting closer and getting into this closure area. I can see like where the hair wasn't really dry all the way, but that's all right. It ain't gonna melt off. It ain't, like I said, it's not no synthetic unit all the way. It's definitely blend. And you know, with synthetics, you can flat iron them. Usually with synthetics, you can't wash and reuse them. I just keep knocking all my products on the floor. My assistant then ate his candy and got on out of here. So I'm gonna just have to keep rolling with the punches. I 
I just feel like, you know, again, I'm going to go back to what I was saying earlier. These prices, these prices that these wig um, companies and these beauty supply store companies charge for these wigs to not be of quality hair, like... I just see why a lot of women started making their own wigs. I do. I see why they started making their own wigs. But even now, like, now the issue is finding quality bundles because, again, because a lot of people are in that industry of making their own wigs, it's hard to find good quality hair because people be, like, skimping on the, on the fullness in the bundle, especially for the long wigs. So... That is the final look right here. She is not fully dry. Like I've been saying, the she's not fully dry. This is, I would say, about 80% dry. And I still went ahead and pressed her out because, you know, she'll air dry tomorrow. But this is what it looked like after my flat ironing. She looks so much better. I did put some argan oil in her, so she's looking a little... Like, I don't want to say she look greasy because she don't look greasy, but she like she got something on her. Now, for the sake of the video, I am going to take my pins out and I'm going to place it on my head and come back for you guys. If I wanted to wear a lace like back. But really, I've been rocking this thing side parted. And this is what it looks like. Like I said, she is thin. She's been thin. But. And I think her lace is, the lace is still a little bit. Like damp, just a little bit. Like the actual unit. But she does look better after washing. So, if you had this unit in 2021 and you want to save it, I think it's possible, but you are... Ooh. Turn this ring light down. You are going to have to, like, wash it and flat iron it to kind of bring it back to life. It looks really natural after washing it, like... It looks good and it's not tangled anymore. It was so tangled before. That was my vlog of me revamping a nappy straight human hair wig. If you wanna see me do more stuff like this, just let me know.